Hello, how are you? So I am going to, don't mind my child screaming in the background, it's nap time. Um, I am gonna walk you guys through how I get ready using our beautiful clutch. So mascara does have a clutch that you can put all of your plastic in, even makeup brushes. And then the other side has a zipper and you unzip it and here is your face. So it does come in vegan leather, Italian leather. It comes in a beautiful box just like this that you can actually store your brushes in and keep. A lot of people ask me how I store my brushes and that is definitely one um, clever way to do it. So I am gonna pull my hair back and just walk you guys through how I get ready using my clutch. This is um, so beautiful and so nifty. It does come with a chain if you wanna wear it like a cross body or a cross bag. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So my face is clean. I do have like a little bit of yesterday's eye makeup on. So I am going to go ahead and use our milk moisturizer. Push down, just one pump. My hands are clean. And I'm going to just rub this moisturizer in. I love our skincare line. Um, I used to have really, really bad cystic acne all along my jawline. You can still see some scarring. And the makeup I was using was so heavily perfumed. So I switched over and not all of my breakouts have gone away, but a lot of them. So I am loving it. Of course, as you continue to use the product over time, you see more benefits. Um, but I am really loving our milk line. I also like to prime my face. Mascara does have a primer and it is actually out of stock right now. Um, this is Mario Badeshi. I got it off of Amazon and I'm going to come in with my Perfector sponge and just tap this into my face and my Perfector sponge is gonna pick up any excess. So we are ready. I have a couple different brushes and I, I will explain them all as we get going. So today I'm gonna to use my 30 second hack brush. I like to start with the tapered end. I am going to come in to my, there's a piece of fuzz. I am going to come in to my brightening highlight so I'm almost out, so I'm scraping along the side, and I am just gonna come in and press this underneath my eye, out to my hairline, down the side of my nose, and just fill in that triangle area in your eyelid. And this, since this replaces your traditional concealer, I am going to use it to conceal some of my blemishes this guy up here and then the redness along my nose a little bit on my chin and like the middle of my forehead so my second color where is she right here I'm gonna use that same tapered end and come in and I'm gonna swipe this up Swipe this up. I like to go from the corner of my mouth up to my chin, and then you're gonna use the excess on your brush to fill in the bottom half of your face. So now I like to come around my mouth, the sides of my nose that I didn't get, and then this is what I call the McDonald's arch. So we're just gonna fill in the sides of your forehead, okay? So I have color one and color two on. You can use any excess to bring it down on your jawline. And then since all of our brushes are double-ended and you've been using the tapered end, now you're gonna flip. And I like to stamp into my contour. So today I am using Astoria. So just stamp in there, find your cheekbone and you're just gonna hug that cheekbone and stamp it in. Come back. other side. You never want to bring your contour in further than the edge of your eyebrow. So you don't really want to go all the way down because then where are you going to put your blush? So 
I'm gonna sweep this temple to temple on my forehead, use any excess. I don't like to dip back in for the jawline sometimes, but use any excess on your jawline. And then I'm just gonna use my finger and create a little bit of nose contouring. Who doesn't want a more perfectly round nose? And then another hot tip that I love is when you want your lips a little bit more plump, dip into that contour and just rub it right on the outer edge of your lips and it gives you like that five minute pout needle free. So now I'm going to come in with my perfector sponge. You want to wring this under water and make sure it's soaking wet and you're going to continually squeeze it out until there's no more moisture left. Sometimes I even like to wrap it in a towel and just keep squeezing. So this is damp to the touch, like barely damp. So I like to use the skinny end and you just wanna to start to blend and press and gently pat just like in the same way you applied. So lightest to darkest. And now I flip to go to my dark side and I'm gonna come in with my contour and just press, press, press and blend all that in. So you don't want to over blend and take it away, but if you do, you can always come back and add more. That is a cool thing with cream. If you mess up, it's super easy to fix. And I'm just working that down and then I like to turn it on its side and kind of just pinch and press and blend my nose. I don't like to blend out my nose all the way because I am gonna come back in and bronze that a little bit and add some illuminator later on. So I'm okay with my nose not being perfect right away. Another hot tip that I love, I normally I use my finger, but I'm just gonna show you that there's a million different ways you can do this. I am dipping into sunlit on my tapered end and I'm just coming back in and pressing this underneath my eye where I'm really blue and purple like that inner corner of my eye. I love this for extra brightening. I think it really just opens up your eye area and with a two and a half year old who doesn't want to look like they got 10 hours of sleep right gosh even eight hours of sleep okay so we're done with our three custom colors let's fill this bad boy in a little bit more and this guy up here and we'll blend those in later so again coverage is buildable so it's really whatever you need if it's that time of the month if you um have new medication if you've switched your skincare certain stuff obviously is going to cause your face to react so when i want that extra coverage i just apply and then i just come back in lightly with the sponge so let's move on to our lip and cheek so i am going to use one of my favorite colors today cindy she is so much fun, so pretty, and looks so good on everyone. And I actually have Sunshine State, which has a little bit of shimmer, if you can see that, that I'm gonna mix over top. So I'm gonna use my 30 second hack brush and I'm just gonna tap into Cindy. Apply this on the apples of my cheeks. And then any extra on the brush goes on to my lips. So again, I'm grabbing my sponge and just pressing, and I like to blend it back into my contour. I am a huge fan of blush. I love blush. Obviously, I think you can overdo it just like with anything, but it's so fun and this color is so pretty. 
Okay, that spot does not want to cover, neither does that one, so we're just going to let that sit a little bit longer. I like to use my brightening highlight, obviously, to build coverage, as you can see. So, let's go to our eyebrows now. I'm going to use my Hotline brush. Again, it's double-ended. I am just going to comb these bad boys in place. And this is where it gets fun. I am going to use Trust. It's an eyeshadow and I'm going to spray the edge of my brush with my primer so it's a little bit damp. These are my eyeshadows I'm gonna to use today, but this is Trust, and I'm just gonna sweep into Trust so it's wet. Tap off any excess, and now my brush is gonna hold that product since our eyeshadows are powder. You can use your contour um, I actually just dyed my eyebrows a little bit darker, so I needed something a little bit darker, and I am really loving how Trust does the job. So I'm just going to fill those in. Ta-da! And then just same with the other side. Which you can also take your spoolie and spray it and rub. Um, I think it tends to be a little bit more messy. You can also do that with your contour with less mess because it is cream. But there's no wrong way to use any of these products. So if you find something that works for you, by all means, do that. Okay, eyebrows done, moving on. So let's come and do some eyeshadow. Actually, let's blend this. Okay, blend it in, please cover. Okay, again, it's okay if it's a little lighter because we're gonna come back in bronze. I am gonna use my eyeshadow everything brush and I am going to do some eyeshadow. I have Valencia. I literally just looked and forgot. Zion, You Complete Me, Crush, Trust, and Bird. These are like six of my favorites. They look great on everyone. These are matte, these are shimmer, and these are matte. So I am gonna start with Valencia with the bigger end of my brush, tap off any excess, and this is gonna act as my base. I may not use all six, but I like to show more because you get the idea and then you could switch it around and make it what works best for you. So I'm just using the big end of the eyeshadow everything brush and just sweeping Valencia on as my base. I am going to come in with Trust which is the same color that I used on my brows and sweep this along my bottom lash line. And for me, that just creates a little bit of depth and I'm not a huge eyeliner person. Um, and if you are, you could do eyeliner, but I think that this is great if you're not an eyeliner person. I used to like line my eyes 5,000 times with black eyeliner and I feel like it just, I don't like that look on me anymore. So I have Valencia and Trust. So I am gonna come in now with You Complete. Let's do it this way. You Complete Me, this shimmer. And I am just gonna place this right on the middle of my lid and work it out. This side. And you could also take like extra lip and cheeks in your purse 
and you could put the lid on them and you could pop these eyeshadows in your clutch. I just chose a lot of colors to show today so they did not fit in. But by all means, you could put whatever you wanted in your clutch. And so I'm just blending this in. I always feel like one eye gets a little bit darker. There we go, okay. And now let's do a little bit of Zion right here and a little bit of Bird and just deepen this crease. A little bit of Zion, a little bit of Bird. Bird is like, oh my gosh, one of my all-time favorite colors. Zion too, it's really, really pretty. And just deepen that crease. And then I am, maybe I am gonna use all six. I'm gonna use Crush with my finger and just pop it right in that inner corner. And now I'm gonna grab my blend and tap brush and do this right. Oh no, my lighting, okay. And just blend that into that. So I'm gonna sweep them together and then I'm just popping a little bit of crush right underneath. So fun. I love eyeshadow and I love how creative you get to be. So, ta-da. Oh man, I need to clean this eyebrow, eyelash curler. Okay, so then I am going to come in with my bronzer and I have my Bella bronzer right next to my illuminator, right next to my perfume. This is my thought process. You can put this perfume that has a shimmer on the back of your neck, behind your ears, on your wrist, okay? On the back of your knees, if it's summer and you're wearing a dress, whatever you want. For me, the way I like to think about it is I like to swirl these together, so if I pick up some perfume, now I smell good. So I really think like there's not a wrong way to use this. The perfume does have shimmer in it. So here's my Bella bronzer, here's my rose gold illuminator, and here is my perfume. So I'm not consciously going on my perfume, but if it touches it, it's not the end of the world. So I have some bronzer on the back of my B squared brush. I'm using the more fluffy end. And I'm just swirling over and just popping that bronzer on the back of my cheeks. I also think like less is more, so you don't need a ton to start with. You can always build. So I'm gonna come on my jawline, my chin, my nose, which is why I don't need to blend out my nose contour to be so, so perfect. My temples, and then I'm gonna move my white shirt and dust it on my collarbone over here, and dust it on my collarbone over here. And then any extra, I just like to bring on to my neck to blend it all together. So let's do our lips now. Actually, hold on. Illuminator also will go on the backs of your cheeks. So I just like to add a little bit more, the bridge of your nose, your Cupid's bow, and you can even do it up on your brow bone and I really think that this like completes an eyebrow look so it's like finished your whole eyelid is covered with something and how pretty and soft so you can come back in and kind of blend that illuminator in okay now let's do our lips I really, really love the eyeshadow everything brush <laughs> also for lips. So I'm not kidding when I say like everything is multi-dimensional or multi-use. It is multi-dimensional also, but multi-use. So this is the fluffy end that I use to blend my eyeshadow. So this is the more tapered end, as you can see. And I'm just gonna dip into Cindy. This 
This is like the perfect bubblegum pink. Put it on my lips and now I'm gonna dip into Sunshine State and just put that shimmer right over top. It's not too much, but I love that you can mix your colors and there's literally no wrong way. So I'm just flipping my brush back over and blending that because I saw that there was like not super blended. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you guys, I'm done. And I, besides my eyeshadow, I used my clutch to get ready. So you could zip this up. You could throw your 30 second hack brush that you used inside. And you could throw your eyeshadow everything brush inside. Put your debit card, your ID, your passport, and you are good to go. Even your mascara if you wanted. Um, I am gonna put some mascara on to finish this look. You could add fake lashes if you wanted this more glam. So funny to me that everybody has to open their eye or their mouth to put mascara on. Okay. So let's take this clip out. I did take a couple before photos. I will take an after. Um, I think this is like the cutest thing. It comes in charcoal, navy, like a baby pink or a cream. Vegan leather or Italian leather. And it does come with a strap so you can like wear it over your shoulder. If you have any questions or you need anything, you guys know where to find me. This, I think, is like a staple. Even if you just want chapstick, um, we do have a, a loose powder, or not a loose powder, a press setting powder. Anything that is with mascara is magnetic and it will fit into this. And you just pop it out and pop it in. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope if you get the clutch, please let me know. Tag me in it, it is so pretty. And don't forget the hot tip. You can save the box and you can store your brushes and your sponge in it. Ta-da! So now your kids can't get into your stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's so fun doing this for you. Please let me know if I can help with anything. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.